Good morning, putas. Okay, but really quick before we start this, is putas offensive? I got some DMs saying, you shouldn't use putas, you should use peras. But then I asked all my friends who like speak Spanish and they're like, no, it's the same thing. Like, so y'all tell me what you guys want to be called. I want to call you guys my putas, my putanas, every language. We're going to be international here. We're going to be cultured. <laughs> Okay, so I thought we'd just have like a little coffee and chat this morning. I wanted to start off this vlog by kind of telling you guys what has been going on in my life because this week has been a crazy week for me, honestly. So today is Friday. On Monday, I hit 100K at like six in the morning. That was really honestly just so special for me. I've had this YouTube channel for like a few years, but I've only been taking it seriously for like a year. It was just a big milestone for me. I uploaded my 100K video last week and you guys heard me talk all about it. I love you guys so much. Thank you. It really means the world to me. And then Monday was also a huge day for me because I had my first day as a professional ballet dancer, which is just so surreal. Like I've I've literally been working for that for 10 years. Like since I was 10 years old, I've been dancing. Well, like nine and a half years later, here I am being a professional dancer with the Stugar Ballet. Like, is life even real at this point? I don't know. I've had so much gratitude this week. It's just been a really great week, honestly. I think I'm gonna vlog today, tomorrow, and then maybe Sunday? I don't know, we'll see. But I have an exciting, like, for sure two days. Right now, it's like 8.30. I have ballet at 12, which has been really awkward <laughs> having ballet right in the middle of the day because it kind of cuts my day. In the mornings, I've just been kind of like getting some stuff done, like YouTube stuff, email stuff, getting my bullet journal done, getting stuff done around the house, and then I go to ballet and then I go to the gym and then so on and so forth. So I will see you guys later. I'm so excited to be vlogging another vlog. I had so much fun with the last one, so let's get our day going. Okay, all my German schlampen. Schlampes? Schlampen? I don't know. That's why I'm doing this. So since I've gotten back to Germany, I've been like, damn, like I really need to get my German better. So I've been doing Duolingo, but sometimes it is just so confusing, like the grammar. It like makes me frustrated because I'm a really quick learner. So when I don't learn something really quickly and like when something's like hard for me, I get really frustrated. Diese sind Apfel. No. These sind Apfel. Jede Katze mag Milch. Diese Orange ist groß. Okay. Diese Äpfel sind groß. I got groß. that one. Jeden Mann ist willkommen. Dieses Öl ist aus Italien. I got that one right Italien. too! Look at me go! Okay, wait, let's listen to this. Dieses Öl ist aus Italien. Dieses... Dieses Öl ist aus Italien. Dieses Öl... Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> let's go in your room, let's vlog. What? Yeah, come on. No, I'm not too shy, it's manic. By the way, I have your sweatshirt. My what? Now everyone thinks we're dating, but he's just my putana kulo bestia. <laughs> So this is Edo, he's the other apprentice with me. Yeah, we're gonna go do some ballet. Look at me, I'm such a bunhead. I like it. I, I know, I'm wearing my Paris Opera sweatshirt today. Ready for ballet, wow. <laughs> so excited, I wanna die. So I'm gonna go to ballet. Okay, let's go do some ballet. <laughs> Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people. They have so many different topics that you can learn about, everything from video making, to photography, to graphic design, illustration, the list goes on. So what I love about Skillshare is that you can learn at your own pace and your own timing. And for someone like me, who's very busy, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are very busy as well, this is great because I still love learning. Being able to do it at my own pace is great. So the class that I'm currently taking is iPad Illustrations by Robert Generate. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I've been adding some cute little illustrations and handwriting to my YouTube videos because I got an iPad. I've been loving taking this class and learning way more about it and I'll be improving the skill. So the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So be one of the first 1,000 people, 
Go click that link right now and let's learn something new for the end of the year. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now back to the vlog. Uh, can I get a picture with the TikTok <laughs> star? Gabriel Figuerdo on TikTok? Okay, you guys always want Gabriel in my videos, so here's Gabriel. Look at us, we're so cute. We finished class, it was... A little rough today. It's used the end of the week. End of the week. I think I could have used an extra espresso shot. Now we're on our way to the gym, just like last week, or not last week, but like a few weeks ago when I vlogged. So I don't know if y'all remember, like when we were on the elliptical, I was talking about man bun. <laughs> okay, so we found out man bun works there as well. Man bun doesn't only work out there, he works there. But then yesterday, okay, this is what I didn't tell you. I saw him in the dressing room and he was blow drying his luscious locks, but the outfit was not it. He was wearing like cargo shorts with like a nasty ass graphic tee. So he Straight. I'll bring my phone out. We'll see what, what mess we can get into today at the gym. No hot guys today. Do you just want to go? Like, what's the point of being here? Okay, bye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all, I want to rant so badly right now about the grocery store. But I'm going to save that for when I do the day in the life of living abroad because I feel like that's a very hashtag living abroad struggle. So anyways, good morning. <laughs> Today has been great. Like I woke up early and I realized recently that I'm like definitely more of a morning person. Yeah, so I got up early. I did some yoga. I got ready. I did my grocery shopping this morning. It's going to be kind of a similar morning as yesterday. I'm going to go over to Rose's, say hi to everyone walk to ballet, take class, but then the rest of the day today is gonna be really fun. I've got a lot going on today. My best friend is coming back, who's also my roommate. I have the 100K celebration. So anyways, let's keep going with the day. It's gonna be a great day. And yeah. So class was canceled. <laughs> I can't really say much more. But instead, I'm pulling up to Rose's right now and then we're gonna go to the gym instead because our plan was just to do ballet today and no gym, but now we're doing gym and no ballet. There's lighting. Every time I go to the goddamn gym, there's this KFC poster, and it got me craving KFC every day. It's literally so random. I never eat KFC. right now we're just making something for the little 100k celebration we're making this very crumble thing yeah can you guys see yeah these we're just waiting for natalie to come she's gonna get here in like an hour her train was delayed but i'm so excited to see her but while we're doing this we need to update you on the man upstairs Okay. Good, good update. So after that vlog that I posted, I went down to the laundry room and he's there with a girl. I was like, who is this bitch? I'm gonna beat this bitch up. And he was a lot more reserved with me this time. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes. She, she was gorgeous, but maybe it was his sister. I don't know. Whenever we hear him go down or whenever we walk out, he's always by himself. Like, mm -hmm. we don't think a girl is up there because there's a shoe rack. 
the and they're all shoes. men's shoes. Yeah. So does she live there? Is it his girlfriend? Is it his sister? I don't know. I've seen him a few more times, and y'all, he gets hotter and hotter every time. Literally every time. But then there was a package and it had someone's name on it. Maybe it was him. I looked it up and I couldn't find anything on Instagram, Facebook, the internet. I need to do a deeper dive, but like soccer came up. So maybe he's a soccer player. We need to do some stalking. Yeah, I need to do some deeper stalking. It was like a really quick, like two minute stalking moment. So anyways, that's the update on the hot guy above me. <laughs> so we are going to make this and I will see you guys later. I'm so excited for tonight. It's really, we're being safe because they're all people that we work with anyways. Yes, it's not it's a large a group. Bubble. Yeah, I wish it could be like more of an extravagant party, but it's okay. You know what? Everyone's on the same boat with this coronavirus. So, we're gonna make this and we will show you guys when it's done. And also I'm making dinner for when Natalie comes. It's gonna be fun. Okay, ciao. Okay guys, so I'm all ready, got the fit on, going to the little celebration. It's at Rose's because Natalie just got back. I'll show you guys when we get there, I'll show you the 100k balloons. I have to have like a photo shoot first, which is so annoying, but like with the disposables, I need to like get a cute picture for Instagram and for the thumbnail for the video that went up the week before this. So we got some content to make over here. Um, so we're gonna go do that and I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, it's me from the future. I did not record enough on Sunday, so I decided to put the clips and just talk over them. So I'm really into self-help and I love reading self-help books. One thing that I've learned that is so important is the feeling of gratitude. Those two days of vlogging, I just had a lot of gratitude those two days and I felt so happy. I was just grateful to be surrounded by supportive and loving people and to be living the life I'm living because I used to dream about living the life I'm living right now. But with that being said, no matter where you are in life, the most important thing to have is gratitude, even if it's just for the small things, like a cup of coffee, I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to end it on that note, and I will see you guys next week. Love you guys, and ciao.